What's going on, fellas? Tonight we're battling British threads. I don't have a British tap and die set, so we have to do some more testing and make sure this system doesn't leak. Everything's looking good so far. No flames shooting out the exhaust. Fairly safe little device. This is a steam generator for Carlos and I'm doing some testing on at nighttime to see things like this right here. See how those flames are blasting all over the place? We certainly don't want those flames headed back towards our water pump, and that's exactly what they're doing. And you can't see this kind of thing at daytime. So I decided it would be a wise decision to test at night to take a look at this, because I had a hunch that it, it rich burns that we were pulse jetting a little bit. This thing definitely can put off some good steam. We're not running it at full blast on the diesel just yet. We've got to get some better baffles in. But for the most part, the test did pretty good. You can see here that thing is getting very hot, cranking out a lot of energy. We are running at a very high flow rate here just to get the combustion chamber heated up. Uh, typically, a pressure washer without a nozzle would not put off that much water. Yeah, you see that flame running all the way behind the burner? Look at that. We're going to have to put a firewall in there that's a little bit more substantial than what we've got. You see, when you turn that fuel up, though, it really starts to put some energy into that water. And that was a pretty good uh, flow rate. A pressure washer without a nozzle does not put off that much water. So there is no nozzle on this whatsoever, guys. This is just straight out of the quick connect there. It's probably about a quarter inch diameter hole that that's shooting out of at that velocity. So we're getting a fairly decent steam jet there. It's very hot outside. If it was cold out, that steam jet would be 10 times that size, guaranteed. It's probably about 80 degrees out. And um, we still have a little bit of a leak in our pump. It's doing fine as far as not shooting out a bunch of flames. So, just wanted to test, make sure things aren't getting too hot. The last thing I want to do is to shift this off and come to find out if you run it for a half hour, it catches on fire or something like that. So I really got to put it through its paces. And the thing's performing very well, even on very low fuel settings. We're burning diesel out of a small container, and it only burned about half a liter in a time of about 15 minutes so about a liter per hour is what you're looking at right here very low fuel consumption and uh, that's about 10,000 watts of power not enough but don't worry like I said this isn't on high just yet we're gonna get that firewall in there so we don't melt our pump now if this thing had a nozzle on it it would be screaming right now look at that pretty impressive for sure Look at that thing just blasting out of there. This thing can do wet steam and dry steam. So for you guys who need the dry steam for whatever you're doing, killing weeds, decal removal, things like that, we're definitely able to hook that up. Now, this thing is definitely pretty cool. It's like being in a boiler in a power plant. <laughs> I want to show you guys what's inside of this insulator. That's what we're looking at is a triangular combustion chamber and that allows that combustion chamber to stay glowing red hot even though it's encased in a cold water pipe because we want that combustor to maintain that heat and it allows um, infrared radiation to pass the energy along. It's a little bit more efficient, helps the combustor stay at optimum combustion rates and um, it burns the fuel so much better when it's glowing that hot so I prefer to keep them running like that and it, it gives us a soot free energy transfer as far as uh, thermal transfer there's no soot build up in that area so our preheat coil always stays super clean doesn't get fouled up if you were to put that coil inside the combustor the cold fuel would accumulate it around it in no time look at that jet very impressive steam jet coming out of there. Man, I wish it wasn't summertime. Not a good time to showcase your steam discharge. Here's some dry steam right there. That is some very hot steam right there. I bet you that steam's every bit of 350 degrees. I turn the water back up for some reason. I keep forgetting that I got people wanting to see some dry steam, but pretty sure Carlos wants the wet steam here. 
So that's about the fuel rate or the flow rate we were going with. You can see once it gets going, that flow rate probably drastically changes. We're probably, we're absolutely not boiling that much water, guys. I can tell you that right now. The flow rate changes as the pressure increases. So maybe we're boiling half that much water. Things are looking good. Nothing's catching fire. It's kind of loud. The neighbors absolutely love it. <laughs> I think they're why they, the cops show up later. But uh, we don't know. The cops always show up at my house. It's probably not them. So, at any rate, uh, very happy with what I see here. Definitely digging it, man. There we are. We are uh, shut down. And, uh, and that's what testing's set. all about, fellas. Don't always get to just build it and ship it out the door. I mean, I long for that day. We still are having a little bit of a leak issue with this pump. These pumps come with British threads. So there's nothing available around here to get a good connection. I'm going to JB weld the connections this time instead of using Loctite. And Loctite's the fence. I did not give this thing the 24 hours needed to fully set. So that may have been my greatest problem right there. I was just so anxious to try the thing out. I do need to add a little bit of a firewall in the front here. We've seen a lot of flames blasting out that hole right there. And that is uh, definitely unacceptable. We don't want no flames hitting this motor. I'm glad I did the test at night because that enabled us to observe the flames true nature. It was definitely spraying all up against this, this area right here where it says 3.2 horsepower. Probably even licking this quarter a little bit also. So, Carlos, I'm going to add a little bit more firewall in here somehow. Maybe just using some insulation. I'm not sure yet. I believe I'm out of that insulation. But uh, it definitely needs it. It needs blocked off. So we don't get those flames because as of right now you have to run it on a very lean burn Which is okay But uh, we could get a lot more horsepower out of this thing if we could turn the fuel up just a little bit more But when we do We start getting flames looking out here Like I said, it's it, that's fine. We can still do a lot with this but uh, For the most part That was just another test to try and work out this leak and uh, figure out where we need to put this firewall. The box is not heating up. I was worried about that being a big issue. It's very warm right now. But granted, we just ran this thing for about 15 minutes straight. And there was no major overheating problems anywhere. Which is uh, definitely a good thing to see. Let's open it up and take a look inside the boiler. A little bit of burn off debris in there yet <laughs> so for the most part the fuel you use is going to determine the maintenance intervals if you're going to use waste oil you can expect a lot of dirt and a lot of filth and a lot of buildup very quickly this thing here on the other hand uh Running on propane or diesel is going to do just fine. So, as far as the coil size, I think we're okay. I'd like to run this thing with the, the chute off a couple of times and observe the characteristics of the flame at the optimum setting. Looks like we're blasting a little bit of fire out the side there. That's to be expected. But for the most part, that was an okay test. I'm a little disgruntled about the leak, but um, when you're trying to connect British equipment to standard equipment, it gets a little funny. So that's where I'm at now. I'm gonna dry this dude up. We're gonna seal that leak. 
soon as that leak sealed and this firewall is in, we'll be ready to do some, some other testing. See what this thing can do with the hose on it. We haven't even really looked at that yet. I'm just for the most part learning how to start it. It is a little scary to start it, but that's with any new toy like this. Kind of like starting a pulse jet engine or something.